Good day everyone, this is Jason Santos, your Professor X, and for today I'm going to discuss business math. This subject is a part of the grade 11 ABM curriculum and is an essential uh, portion uh, in order to complete the senior high school curriculum. Here are the parts of the entire uh, course of business math. So for week 1, we will be dealing with fractions, decimals, and percentages. And then we will also be covering ratio and proportion in week 3, concepts of buying and selling in weeks 5 up to 9, and then um, graphs, charts, data, and tables for weeks 7 up to uh, 9. Uh, you would have to uh, take into consideration that these subjects are overlapping. And then we also have mathematics applied in salaries and wages. So all of these things uh, will be delivered in the context of business. So for now, we will be covering business math chapter 1, part 1. Please take note that everything that will be discussed here was based from the business mathematics module created by the Department of Education. And this has been specifically prepared to cater to learners who are in the midst of the new normal or the pandemic. So first off, what we can see here in this image is that uh, under business mathematics, we will be dealing with fractions, decimals, and percentages. And on the image uh, that you uh, are seeing, we can see a cup that is half filled and half empty. It can be expressed in several um, types or several ways. You can say that it is uh, one half or you can also say it's 50% and then finally you can say it as 0.5. So basically all of these things are correct. It's just that um, a portion can be stated in different ways or different types. And that's what we will be understanding uh, or covering for today. So first off, let's go to fractions. So when we say fraction, uh, it is when a whole quantity or set is divided into parts. And then each part is called a fraction. And a fraction is a number written in the form A over B. Whereas A and B are whole numbers, but B cannot be equal to zero. So let me emphasize that. In this example, A over B are whole numbers, but B cannot be equivalent to zero. It is because uh, the A represents the numerator, while B represents the denominator. So naturally, your denominator cannot be equal to zero because your numerator already represents the entire whole, which is one. So you can express it in uh, the, the forms of one half or statements like one half, one third, or one fourth. So bottom line here or rule of thumb is that your denominator cannot be less than your numerator or equal to zero. Next we have the decimal. So here in our picture we can see that the decimal point um, divides the numbers in two directions. Leftwards we will have the numbers ten times bigger. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, millions and so forth. And then right for uh, rightwards we will have one tenths one hundredths and one thousandths. A decimal number can be defined as a number whose whole number part and the fraction part is separated by the decimal point. The dot in a decimal number is called a decimal point. The digits following the decimal point show a value smaller than one. So we have to take note that when we talk of decimals, it is in the subdivisions of 10. It is because of the root word deci or ten. 
last but not the least, we have percentages. A percentage is a number or ratio that represents a fraction of 100. It is often denoted by the symbol percent or simply a percent or PCT. So, for example, 35% is equivalent to the decimal 0.35 or the fraction 35 over 100. So similarly to our earlier example uh, where we have shown a half cup expressed in decimals, fractions, or percentages, a percentage is also a whole which is equivalent to 100%. And then what's been uh, discussed here is that 35% is a portion of a 100%. 35% as well can be expressed in different forms like decimal and fraction. So now let's test uh, what we have learned so far. So we have to fill in the blanks, sum of the questions here, and answer them. So here are the answers. Fraction is a numerical quantity that is not a whole number. Percentage is a rate, number, or an amount in each hundred. Decimal relates to or denotes a system of numbers and arithmetic based on the number tenth, ten parts, and the power of ten. And then four and five refers to the numerator and the denominator. The number above the line is a common fraction of numerator and then the number below the line is the denominator. And this is a, an assignment that I will be leaving with you so that you can review the parts further before we expound further in uh, chapter 1. So I hope uh, you have learned something for today with regards to the introduction of business management. This is again Jason Santos and I would appreciate if you would like, subscribe, and comment to my channel. Thank you so much and God bless everyone.